All the drama of upset Saturday on campus is near, but we kick things off with the Eagles and Saints playoff battle with Philly playing its first road playoff game in five years against a New Orleans club gunning to win its second playoff game in franchise history. To the Superdome we go. Sean Payton, 10 and 6 in the regular season. First quarter, first Saints possession, Drew Brees. Swing pass to Reggie Bush. Meet Sheldon Brown. Worth a couple of more looks. Oh, the former Heisman Trophy winner drilled. He was slow to get up, but he would return to the game. After John Carney 33-yard field goal, Saints back to work, Brees back to Bush, and he cuts it up and is able to pick up 25 yards. Bush obviously okay after that big hit by Brown. Saints would tack on another Carney field goal. Eagles with a third and nine in the second quarter. Jeff Garcia, Dante Stallworth. It's the longest pass play in Eagles postseason history. Good for 75 yards and the touchdown. It's a tough play nominee. Philadelphia up seven to six. Saints answer. Second and goal from the four. It's Bush. Four yards touchdown. Capping a 14 play, 78 yard drive that chewed up 819 on the clock. Saints up 13 to seven. Eagles respond. Third and goal from the one. It's Brian Westbrook. And the Eagles are up 14-13 at the break. In the third quarter, first Eagles possession of the second half. The handoff is to Westbrook. Keep your eye on LJ Smith. He's able to block not one but two Saints to spring Westbrook for a 62-yard touchdown. It's the longest run from scrimmage in Eagles postseason history. And the Eagles take a 21-13 lead. Later in the third, first and goal for New Orleans, it's Deuce McAllister. Touchdown. Saints within one, down 21-20. And the Saints go back to work looking for more. Breeze, the swing pass to McAllister, makes a nice move to get Jeremiah Trotter to freeze. 11 yards, touchdown. Joe Horn inactive with that groin injury, digging the Saints 27-21 lead in the fourth quarter. Eagles driving second and one inside the five. Westbrook runs inside, but he stopped. Now on third and one, Garcia swing pass to Thomas to pay, but he's stopped by Scott Fujita. That brings up fourth down. David Akers. 24-yard field goal makes the score 27-24, and then Breeze back to Bush, fumble, 12 carries, 52 yards, and a touch, but would that big mistake be costly? Eagles on fourth and 10, Hank Basket makes the catch, but there's a flag on the play, false start on the Eagles. Now on fourth and 15, Andy Reid and company decide to punt, and Bush is back there for the fair catch with a buck 49 left in the contest. On third and one, it's McAllister. 21 carries, a buck 43, a franchise playoff record, and the Saints advance to their first NFC Championship game in France franchise history as New Orleans hangs on 27-24. The Saints beat the Eagles 27-24 twice this season with both games coming at the Superdome. Now this is the first time ever a team has beaten another twice by the same score in the same stadium in one season, regular or postseason in NFL history. As for that fourth and 15, Coach Andy Reid explains his decision. I guess with hindsight, maybe we should have done that, you know, since we didn't get the ball back. But uh, you know, I thought I thought we'd be able to get the ball back, and uh, you know, the odds might be better us doing that. I figured they'd run the football, and we might be able to stop them there and uh, <clears throat> get the fo get the football back. You know, obviously, it's an exciting win for uh, for this team, this organization, and this city. And I couldn't be more proud of. Uh, a group of guys that fought and battled. This is my first opportunity to be in the playoffs. You know, I've never been here, so I didn't want to be one and out. You know, I didn't want to say if I had done this or if I had prepared this much more or differently, you know, then, um, you know, we might have been successful. So I think just the determination of uh, this team and this city just to give them everything that we, we have as a team, you know, I think that's what it meant to us. We're excited, though, obviously. First time in, in, in Saints or, you know, the history of the organization. They've been in the NFC Championship game, and obviously we're so proud to be able to give that to this city, and but we're not done yet. Well, in the Saints' first six playoff games, they never had anybody rush for over 50 yards. Saturday night, they had two. Deuce McAllister led the way with 143 yards, while Reggie Bush added 52. Our Sean Salisbury backs that critical Eagles punt with under two minutes to play in the game.